All right, Shalom. <clears throat> shalom. Giving all praises, glory, and honors unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles. Visuals to a great millstone. Peace and blessings to 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. This is Brother Zaiwan from GMS Atlanta. Back with another edifying video. And, uh, this is uh, breaking news from the day. The uh, notable actor, James Earl Jones, is in the spirit world. He's passed on. He's, he's, you know, he's died. And he lived a full life. You know, uh, of course, you know, he was in the Hollywood um you know, he was in the entertainment industry. Um, but, you know, nevertheless, the, you know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, saw it fit for him to live <clears throat> a full life. Um, so this is from the U.S. Sun. And it says, headline, Darth Vader dead. James Earl Jones dies at 93 in New York home as Star Wars and Lion King legend as Star Wars and Lion King legend legend remembered. Um, so I, I will read some of this. It says James Earl Jones has died at age 93. The iconic actor known for his roles in the Lion King, Field of Dreams, Star Wars and more died on Monday morning at his home in New York. And you can see, you know, image of the actor here. Um, you know, one of his roles, you know, if you uh, ever watched Star Wars, which, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of brothers have. You know, he was the voice of Darth Vader. And for even some of us younger brothers, um, will, you know, remember him from The Lion King, you know, in the 90s, all right? He was the voice of the uh, the Lion King, the father of Mufasa, and he also played in uh, Coming to America with Eddie Murphy. Now, you can see a list of different uh, roles that he played in here. Now, it says his career spanned over 60 years and included an array of roles. He got to start in 1958 on Broadway at the Court Theater, which was renamed the James Earl Jones Theater in 2022. And his most recent role was in 2021's Coming to America, which is the uh, sequel. Um, I'm not going to read all of this. Now, there's a reason why I'm speaking on James Earl Jones. Um, you know, like I said, he lived a full life. But first, let me get a scripture. All right, let's get a scripture. Let's go to let's see. And there's multiple scriptures that that go into this. But I want to see, let's see here. Four score and ten. Okay, here we go. Yep, okay, so we have three score. And it was here. So this is uh, Psalms 90 and 10. The days of our years are three score years and ten. So that would be 80. And if by reason of strength, I'm sorry, 70, because a score is 20. So three score would be 60 and 70. It says, and if by reason of strength, they be four score years. Yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. So if you get, you know, into your 70s, 80s, and 90s, you know, that's a, a, um, a lot of times, you know, you suffer from, Neurological issues, you might get dementia, you might have Alzheimer's, um, 
you know, certain uh, other uh, bodily issues, you know, cancer, and then eventually, you know, you pass on, you know, you're in and out of, you know, the hospital, a lot of certain older men and women, 70, 80, 90 are on dialysis, you know, diabetes, you know, our people suffer from a lot of the sicknesses. It says that in the curses that we will suffer from sicknesses that's not even written in the book. So for, you know, the man to be able to be able to live to 93, that's definitely a blessing from the Lord. Um, even, uh, I believe, King, King Masha, High Priest, Yaquab, Elder Abba Bevins, you know, those, you know, the elders of our elders that were pillars in this truth, they lived into their 80s, I believe. So, so you know, that's definitely a blessing from the Lord. And I believe High Priest R.E.I. is in his 80s as well. All right, along with High Priest Shar. So there's just certain times that the Lord will have you live a long, a long life. Now it says, the days of our years are three score years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength to labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. So, you know, the brothers in the spirit world. The actor James Earl Jones, and uh, you know, we hope to be delivered so we can live that eternal life. Okay, but now there's something else that I want to bring out. Okay, because this uh, actor has had a lot of different movie roles. He did a lot of voiceover work, but. Let's see if I can pull it up. What you may not know is that James Earl Jones had did, uh, he had did an um, audio version of the Bible. Okay, the King James version of the Bible. All right. Um So you can see it here. James Earl Jones reads the Bible. And there's videos on it. Um, let's see here. James Earl Jones reads the Gospel of John. James Earl Jones reads the Gospel of Matthew. James Earl Jones reads the Revelation of, we know his name to be, Yahweh Shai. So you can go on YouTube. and Because uh, there's a lot of audio Bibles out there. But um, I found this out maybe about, ooh, 10 years ago. I knew about this 2013, 2014. You know, I would throw on uh, an audio Bible sometimes and, and listen to it off of YouTube. And uh, I found out that James Earl Jones had did an audio Bible version of the King James. Um, so that's one Mighty work. You know, the Lord used him. You know, and of course, it's, you know, his name is James. But, you know, the Lord used him to uh, record, a, record an audio version of the King James Bible. So, you know, he saw it fit for his brother to leave, you know, a mighty work. You know, he made... Have been in Hollywood. It may have been an actor. He wasn't in the truth. But as the scripture says, man's goings are of the Lord. So you can uh, go on the YouTube, type in James Earl Jones reads the Bible, and uh, get get edified. You know, get a new audio Bible with a brother. You know, he is an Israelite. All right, and he has a very unique uh commanding voice you know a very deep voice even the scripture says that uh uh Yahweh Shai, 
his voice was just the voice of many waters. So, you know, like a very deep Judite voice. And that's the same type of voice that James Earl Jones has. Okay. Very recognizable. You know. So, there's a little edification with that. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to bring this out. You know, it just came out. Or at least brought to my attention a few minutes ago. So, I said, you know what? I just remember that this, you know, this this brother here, this actor, uh, did a video, I'm sorry, an audio on the Bible, you know, and brothers and sisters might not have known that. So, you know, he's, he's, he, he has more work than just acting in these Hollywood movies, okay? And the Lord also allowed him to live a uh, full life. Um. Uh, so that's it, you know, I, uh, I read the scripture, okay, um, so I'm going to end it here, I hope this is edifying, uh, I don't think it mentions that in this article, I don't think it mentions, it mentions some of his movie roles, but it doesn't mention his, uh, some voiceover roles. But yeah, so it didn't really mention his, um, his voice work on the scriptures. So I did want to shed some light that he did read the scriptures and recording an audio version. All right, so with that, I'll say Shalom.